Hello! I'm still alive. I'm still here. Um, and in fact, to show you how long it's been since I've um, done a Facebook Live, I don't even know if I'm live right now. It says I'm live, but they've changed some things on the old Facebook. But hey, look, somebody just tuned in. So, yes, okay, I'm good. Hello, everyone. We are a family of seven now. And it has been um, kind of a rough transition. But today has been a great day. And I'm just so encouraged about today. And um, so I'll start with uh, a week ago today, I was having, um, I always, in my pregnancies, I have lots of contractions. So I had contractions from week 12 on. And um, so I was used to having contractions, but at this time, seven days ago, um, my contractions started to be different and a little bit painful. And so I called my midwife and I came in and to be checked and she said I was at a two and said, you know, you're probably not in labor. You could be, probably not. And so I went back home and just kind of went on with my day and then in the afternoon I started having some more painful contractions and I was 36 weeks and six days and um, I was like hmm that's weird so I called John home he came home an hour early from work and then um, came home and I was kind of doing some of the low grunting during the contractions for those of you who've done natural labor you know what I'm talking about where I was kind of humming my way through the contractions and so I knew that they were changing and then um, so I thought well we probably ought to pack our bags <laughs> hashtag fifth child probs um, yeah we hadn't even packed my bag for the hospital yet so John packed my bag for me and then the contractions stopped and so we're like okay I guess I'm not in labor and then got up and made supper, and we bathed the kids, put them down to sleep, and I laid on the couch, and then the painful contraction started back up again, and I was just like, okay, let's just go in and just see what's going on. And as soon as I got up, I realized, oh yeah, this is, not, hey, you you're, don't have clothes on, I'm doing Facebook Live. Go put clothes on now. And I ran out there butt naked. Okay. Welcome back. Hey, hey, Alicia, Alicia. Okay, Progress. you seriously can show our your website. stuff. Okay. On our website! On our website! Hazel, Hazel, go no, put no, clothes no, on now. No. Hello, children. Um, anyway. <laughs> please. Um, so anyway, so I get in, so I go from, hmm, let's go and check out, just see what might be going on with me. To, as soon as I sat down in our van, I started like, it was bad. I was hurting. And, oh, there's another child that needs clothes. Okay, hey. Um, Say, ah. Ah. <laughs> The kids have been playing in the rain, so they came in to have warm baths because they were freezing their fannies off. Um, Jude, let's go to your room. Get clothes on. Um... Anyway, and so then we had to stop to get gas because I ran the van out of gas. And my kids, anytime I am disengaged with them, start acting like wild animals. So I'm going to have to hurry this up. Um, so we stop and get gas and I start yelling at John, oh my gosh, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Like it happened that quick. And so then he, I said, don't fill up the gas tank all the way, just enough to get us to the hospital. And so we get to the hospital drops me off of the ER and I try to bypass registration because I really 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 want to get an epidural this time and I could feel the baby pushing down and coming down and I said I can't register I can't register and of course um, the man who was registering me sorry but man you just don't understand he was trying to ask me all these questions and I said I can't do this right now I gotta go and I'm crying and I'm like Whoa! and so a nurse goes she can't do this she's got it she, she wheels me off so thank you thank you nurse for saving me and uh, so they r rushed me up there and I was actually just at a four which is so crazy how different labors are because I didn't start that type of pain with Evangeline so I hit like a seven or an eight so it's just it's just all different uh, so I got there in the nick of time for uh, my epidural I went from a four to like a nine in an hour 
and then I had her at, uh, I got to the hospital at 10, I think, and then um, I, she was born at 1.07 a.m., so, um, which was so cool because at 12 a.m., um, we made it to 37 weeks, so that was such a God thing. Um, so she was exactly 37 weeks, which meant she was a term baby, and we didn't have to mess with any of all the hospital protocol for having a preterm uh, labor and delivery. Um, so that's how, and it was a very peaceful labor and delivery, no screaming this time, which I was really grateful for. We had worship music playing, and uh, it was just really quiet because it happened so fast. We didn't really have a lot of people there. It was just my mom and John. And, of course, my midwife and a nurse. And it was in the middle of the night, which was so nice and just quiet. And um, um, it was just very peaceful and really sweet. Um, so, but, um, but yeah, it was, it was, I don't know, it was just a real sweet, sweet, um, peaceful, easy delivery. Um, and my midwife said it probably could have gone even quicker had I not gotten the epidural. But I really wasn't an even... I wasn't in any hurry because I told them, I said, that epidural felt so good. I said, I haven't been this relaxed in five years. <laughs> so I want, please don't take me off the epidural. It felt so good. So, um, anyway, um, yeah, when you, when you have a lot of kids, you, um, you really enjoy a hospital birth. At least I do. And I just wanted to stay there as long as I could. <laughs> Okay, so that was my labor delivery. Um, I ended up getting sick afterwards and had to come back to the hospital. I had to go to the ER and had to get fluids, and so that was no fun. I had a bacterial infection that actually I'd had for about a month, and so um, I needed to have it treated with antibiotics. And now that I've got antibiotics, I am good to go. Um, so, yeah, so we brought um, Evangeline, I mean, I keep calling her Evangeline Esther, Esther Marie home, and um, everyone's really excited except for Jude, and um, in fact, he tried to lock us out of the house and didn't want us to come in, and um, so there's been lots of screaming here and lots of crying and lots of fear for him the past um, six days. And, um, but with some tough love and some prayer, um, and some just being positive and just believing that God has a plan and God blesses childbearing, we have seen a great breakthrough today. Jude has, has not screamed at all. Um, like he's literally like the past six days, he, if I'm inside, he's outside, like with the baby. He doesn't want anything to do with her. He's scared to death that she's going to cry because he hates crying. But I believe that God's going to use Esther to heal Jude of this whole um, being terrified of cries. So, And we've already seen that today. So that's been very encouraging. Um, so today's, today's just been a really encouraging day. Um, you know, he still he doesn't really want to have anything to do with her, but he's at least not screaming and crying and holding his ears. So um, every day is going to get better, and um, so y'all just pray for him. And so that's why you haven't seen any pictures posted of him and the baby yet. We did get him to hold her one time, but um, Hazel, no, I'm serious. Go put clothes on now. Um. So yes, that's kind of the update of um, our family right now, and um, um, she, she's sleeping good, and so, I mean, she wakes up to eat, and I feed her, and we go back to sleep. We're doing co-sleeping with a co-sleeper in the bed, and I'm, um, I really like that for my, um... yeah, Hazel, get in your room, or no, you can't get in your room. Never mind, there's a child in there sleeping. Y'all need, okay, I'm going to have to wrap this up. The co-sleeper gives me great peace of mind. Um, I don't sleep very comfortably. In there. Look at that, Jude. Y'all, y'all got to see this. Jude has dressed himself. That is a really big deal, guys. Jude um, just started dressing himself um, this summer. And um, I didn't even ask him to dress himself. He just went in there and dressed himself. That is amazing. Um Okay, I will find you some clothes. Sorry, I've been fussing at you about putting on clothes and you don't have access to any. Okay, well, you can't do naked Facebook Live.
Okay, so um, trying to think of anything else to tell you guys. Our church has taken just amazing care of us. We've got, um, you know, lots of uh, meals planned for the next three weeks, which was a huge blessing. Um, and, um, but yeah, it's, sleep is going okay. You know, I mean, I mean it's, it's good. She's, she's great. But uh, we can't really get super comfortable on the bed. Um, with the uh, co-sleeper because we don't have like a king size bed so we've got a co-sleeper and a queen and then a lot of nights we have other children who get in our bed with us so um coleman thank you for the encouragement that means a lot to me especially coming from you love you and your family um and miss you guys um so but but yeah i you know and i'm feeling more and more passionate every day you know speaking of what you just said about family and about childbearing and about um building strong families and so i'm feeling very inspired these days to do some more um, um writing about family and more facebook lives about family and prioritizing being at home um prioritizing um strong relationships with your children uh, prioritizing time spent outside the home and all that stuff and uh, so I'm excited about the things that God is um, just uh, just putting in my heart these days so you'll be hearing from me again soon um, my postpartum depression it's there you know it is what it is I struggle with it for about seven days and then I kind of the cloud lifts so I'm on day six and every day I feel a little bit better so that's good um, but it's my normal, so, and it's all a part of having a baby, and oh, I'm yeah, telling you, these little, so badly, okay, want on. <laughs> okay, these babies don't come for free, I tell them, they're, they're lots of hard work, so, um, even after you're not pregnant, you're still, your body's still recovering, so, um, but yeah, that's a little update on us, and, um, Hazel wants to say hi, let's see if I can give her, I'm just gonna show your face, can I just show your face? Okay, well, we will come back when you have your clothes on and you can do a live, okay? So y'all stay tuned. Hazel will come back with a live with her clothes on. Um, so there's the update on our family. Keep us in your prayers. We're so happy to welcome Esther Marie into our family. Uh, we know that our lives will be better with her, and um, they all, it already is. It's just she's a miracle. Um, she's sleeping right now, or I would show you a um, video of her. We'll have to do that later. So, y'all have a great day. Enjoy the rain here in, in Longview, Texas, if that's where you are watching from. And um, I'll see you next time.